So uh, this is pretty exciting. What we've done is that we've made two new movies uh, in one day. So our in-house cinematic director, Tor, uh, together with his crew, um, went away to, uh, to film these two movies. So one of them is the Overkill Pack movie that you've already seen, right? And the other one is one that we're still uh, working on. Uh, internally now we call it the Barbecue Pack. For this shoot, we were located in independent studios in Stockholm. Uh, we had an awesome crew of about 30 people. The DP is amazing, his name is Benjam, and we flew him in from Finland. I'm a big fan of, of plot twists and reveals. So the idea for the first film was to do like a Mexican standoff between SWATs and robbers, and then have yeah, at the end this hero shot of uh, chains uh, when he's firing the minigun. We also had a great uh, Steadicam operator named Nestor. And it was cool because Nestor is very mobile with the Steady, so if you want an exact shot over the shoulder and then you move around and then you want to go between someone and then you want to come into a specific shot in a specific angle and stuff like that, he can really nail it. So the Overkill Pack and the Minigun movie, if you will, uh, is a it's a great movie because it symbolizes the whole thing with the overkill, right? With us as developers, as well as with the pack itself. That's, uh, I play the bass uh, and then... My name is Simon Vickland, and I am uh, the uh, music composer and voice director at Starbreeze and Overkill. The uh, first uh, trailer was just um, a matter of trying to convey a lot of attitude, so uh, I just created a track that's uh, very much uh, in the um, Payday 2 style of music that just seemed to fit that heaviness of the weaponry and the heaviness of of um, of the situation. Then when the song drops, like when 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 it gets heavy, in in that part of the song, I have these layers of four four synthesizers synthesizers that play the same thing, and it's basically instead of a guitar. So together with a bass. What we're doing as well is something we internally are right now called the barbecue pack. We'll see if that name flies when we go live with it. But basically, uh, with Payday 2, we haven't seen any fire based weapons yet. So, uh, what we're doing is we're putting them in. The idea was to just place a bunch of food stuff on this driveway and then do one long dolly shot, revealing them one by one, burning. And people would wonder, like, what the hell went wrong with this barbecue? And then in the end, you see swats burnt. And then when you come up, you go, oh, it's old Hawkson and Wolf. <laughs> have a great weapon guy. Uh, his name is Tobias. He makes practical effects, so he was responsible for the fires, and he custom built the, uh, the flamethrower. And this he did uh, just, I think, the night before the shoot, so I was a bit nervous. Uh, I know that Josh, uh, the actor, was a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. Okay because we didn't know if this thing was going to blow up or if the if the fire like if the fire was going to be 20 meters or 1 meter or if it wasn't going to burn at all and what if he burns the guy next to him you know uh, <laughs> maybe he can have a cigarette <laughs> okay. light it up the um, uh, barbecue trailer is um, a 50s track 
Uh, it's supposed to sound like it's recorded in the 50s. Uh, we've made a few tracks like that where it's supposed to sound like we uh, licensed some music, but it's really written specifically for the trailer. We're going to use some live musicians uh, who are going to record it as a group rather than recording the drums by itself, by themselves, and then the, the guitars by themselves, uh, and and so on. We're going to record it as you did in the 50s, more. Um, where every, the entire band played it together, so it's going to sound uh, authentic. It's going to be a crazy pack, and uh, if you ask me, when I first saw the trailer, I was a bit disgusted, because uh, so it's always something creepy with the fire, right? And especially when you see it like that, because, uh, yeah, the guys did an amazing job portraying <laughs> the effect of, of, uh, of uh, the fire-based weapons in Fatal 2. I think all the uh, inner pyromaniacs in, in us came out and, and uh, even though we smoke-filled uh, the studio, it was a pretty good day. And got it! <laughs> 